So what you see here is my company provided car key which has central locking system and the remote in it. Now what I've done is I wanted a flip key so I bought this flip key out of uh, AliExpress. Now the concept is if you look closely these actually resemble each other so you might have to look at it this way. Now what I wanted to do is in order to make things simple I have to take the remote out of this and I would have to put it directly into this. It is supposed to fit in. And uh, I'll also have to get the blade, the, this blade, this blade I'll have to get it cut from the uh, keysmith like this and that should, that should do the trick. Now we also know that these days car keys come with a transponder inside it. Now these send out uh, an RFID. When you start the car, if the RFID matches the one which is coded into your car, your car would go ahead and start. But if not, you would be able to open the doors and the trunk, but the car would not start. So I would also show you how you can bypass that thing so that you can, uh, you can uh, drive your car with your new key rather than spending a hefty amount with the keysmith um, in order to get the uh, transponder code uh, you know copied into your new key yeah so what I'll do is I'll first open up this key and I'll show you how I can take the uh, remote out of it so I have already um, opened a bit of the key from the corner so that it is easier to show you now if I open this you would see there's the remote inside now you can just pull out the remote normally and it should come out to be something like this that's the battery and these are the switches now next what I'll do is I will have to open this key now different keys open in different manners now this one first I'll have to slide this out this comes out and then I'll have to open this bit and I'll have to slide this out it's a bit stiff now there's a small screw right over here can you see it I have a four head screwdriver using which I would take the screw out. Be very careful because the patches inside the remote for the screw is made out of plastic. So if you push, uh, if you put any extra force, you're going to break those grooves and the screw won't fit in. Now you will also have to remember that this flip key is actually bound by a spring so once the screw is out you need to hold this very carefully and take them apart if you don't it might just you know kind of come out and the spring might go off you might lose it and that, that makes things very difficult so slowly punch the key outside and you open the remote now once you open the remote you would have the key blade you would have the uh, switch with the spring you need to be very careful with this you have the lower side of the uh, remote the membrane the upper side and you would also have the keys uh, I, I, don't, I don't know you might not be able to see this but anyway so I've already got the blade cut uh, from the um, keysmith to match the one on the master switch the master key 
uh, and now I'm going to assemble it back. Now, if I look at this uh, top cover, it's like a puzzle. So first I'll have to, uh, you know, match the shapes of these keys and I'll have to put them in, in case you, uh, you know, in case this fell off when you opened up. In my case it did. So I'll have to just do it once again. It's actually very simple, the shapes are unique so there's no chance that you're going to uh, misplace one with another. Okay, so seems like I have done it and then I will have to put this membrane on. Now when you put this membrane on, you would have to be absolutely sure which side you're putting it in so I think it should go this way was it this way it's actually sitting in the, okay okay so so this is the right way to put it you would be able to figure out because there are some small um, grooves in it uh, you won't be able to fit this uh, silicon outside the grooves so once that's done you have to put in this uh, remote circuit that you took out from your master key now putting it isn't very difficult you already have the shape over here so you can just put it like that now if you're not sure about it what you can do is you can check the original key and you can just check if the pattern is right which in my case is correct now I have the hold button if you if you see it this way I have the hold button and then the lock right next to it is the trunk right next to it is the unlock now if I remember correctly this is fit into a shape where it would go usually like this yeah so if it goes like this this is the hold button right over here in order to match this now I have the hold button on the bottom so this side would go towards the lower side and then I would gently push it so that it locks itself Bear with me a second on this. I just have to be absolutely sure that I am putting it right and I am locking it. Okay, it's done. Now comes the tricky part, the transponder. Now, if you go back to your master switch, you would see it's a small piece of uh, a sort of a plastic which is stuck right at the corner of your switch. Now, it's not very easy to find out but then neither is it going to come up like this very easily it's going to be stuck completely it's going to be flush fit now just in order to explain and in order to uh, you know identify it better i have already pulled it out a little and uh, how did i do it i had to cut down the grooves a little in order to take it out now i have taken it out it should look something like this a small piece now I didn't know about this so what I did was I actually took this small piece with me and I tried to start my car now what happens is with this key and without this transponder your car would crank but it would not start so what I did is I took it and I placed it right on the top of it and then I tried to start the car and then it did now you have to be very careful about one thing 
if the key is on this side and if you put this side towards the ignition you have to place this uh, chip very close to the transponder chip very close towards the key otherwise uh, the ignition wouldn't detect it now I see that there is a small uh, place where I can fit this in so I'll quickly fit this in and I'll show you oh, oh okay I already have a place for the transponder key over here so I'll just go ahead and place it over here sits right in you can see it and then I'm going to assemble the rest of the uh, key back once I'm done I'll get back to you on this okay so I've got it together now while getting it together you might encounter that this LED is constantly blinking if you see that that means somehow it is not fit properly and one of the keys are constantly pressed so you need to make sure that that's not happening. Now right after you have put this together, the first thing you need to do is you need to put the screw back. Now remember, the grooves are made of plastic, so you shouldn't be tightening too hard. done now is the time to the flip key is also working so now is the time to put these things back now once you're complete with this If you have a logo, you might want to put it at the back so that it covers the screw, it helps with the screw not falling off, and also helps with this thing to look good. Next, what we'll do is we will try to start the car using this new key and see if this works now these buttons are already working you can see it over here if you check the LED light this is the unlock it's a lock and this key sorry now my card does not have the trunk open so that that's just a false switch yeah so let's go ahead Try to start the car and find out what happens. This is my Toyota Corolla and this is the flip key. The assembled and cart and everything is finished. Now what I'll do is I'll try to unlock the car. Okay so the unlock works. Let's try the lock. That works as well. So. I will go ahead and try to start the car now. Okay, so the alignment of the car is absolutely perfect. Just in order to have a better view of uh, this key getting in the ignition, I have uh, turned it around. Now let's try it. Moment of truth. Success. Now I'm going to go on a drive right now. Uh, if you like the video, then please hit the like button. You can leave your comments for any questions and uh, do hit the subscribe button to support me. Thank you.